Hare Krishna. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Guru Angaranga. Jai Prabhupada, Jai Guru Dev. It's moments like these, this is early in May. When you think about chanting Hare Krishna for some material benefit, sometimes the material benefit takes a long time to come because this is a spiritual mantra. Actually, the spiritual benefit is immediate and it begins to affect your material life immediately. So don't take this mantra lightly because it's not a cheap thing. I wasn't planning to make a YouTube video and I don't even think this will be too long because I'm going to be waiting for the bus. But I just wanted to share with you that when you keep chanting, you start becoming more and more engaged in the service of Sri, Sri Radha Govinda or their devotees, disciples, and servants. So it seems someone has me seriously engaged in the service of the Lord. The reason why I say that is because there's this Spanish kid in my son's building. I don't know how old he is. He's young, like nine, eight. For some reason, he always says Hare Krishna to me because, you know, he be hearing me chanting or whatever. And one day he was like, what's that, Hare Krishna? And I'm just telling him, you know, it's a call on the energy of the Lord. You're calling the Lord's name, blah, blah, blah. I said, every time you see me, just say Hare Krishna. You know what I'm saying? And, and he greets me like that with respect. And so this morning, I'm thinking about the kid because I didn't see him in a while. I was supposed to be gone already on the bus, but I had to come back to the building for whatever reason. So, um, long story short, I said, where's that little kid and how can I further engage him in Krishna's service? You know, I, it was just a thought. Yo, man, as soon as I come out of my son's apartment, the little kid comes out the stairwell. I never see him on my son's floor when I'm over there. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy how the kid just came out the stairwell after I just thought about him. So I gave him a Spanish pamphlet for his grandmother on chanting Hare Krishna. And I gave him an English one for him and I gave him the Krishna pamphlet. And I told him, I said, listen, these pamphlets, put them in your house. They're good luck. You know, I use the word good luck for people who are on that level. So put these pamphlets in your house. Keep them there. You know, I said, if you're ever having a bad day or things are not going right for you, just look at this picture of Krishna. I said, but here, take these two English ones for you and take this Spanish one for your grandmother. All I'm saying is, if you are considering chanting Hare Krishna, consider that your life will change, and it's gonna change in a very potent way. It's not always materially estimable at first, but it will have material changes in your life. Even physical health benefits. You know, I had mentioned it before, I had an irreversible condition, and <laughs> Like 2013, I started chanting seriously and going to the temple and eating prasad. And my irreversible medical condition reversed. It reversed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Gone. <laughs> it's just crazy. That's all I'm saying, man. I'm just saying. This devotional service, this bhakti is the best thing that you can engage in. And you know, straight up, for the black body people out there on this planet, you're struggling on the white supremacy. That's because the white man doesn't know that God is supreme. And then there's a faction of blacks who want to point out the scientific aspects of our melanin and our great and rich history. Yeah, all of these things are, are to be considered. However, the main thing is that when you're in a jail, it doesn't matter if you're up there right under the warden and you got all of the accoutrements in jail. I mean, Pablo Escobar built, built a, a mansion. He built a jail for himself where he had all of the physical amenities. But it didn't change the fact that he was still a prisoner. So whether you're on the lower tier of human existence, the middle tier of human existence, or the upper tier of human existence, you're still in hell. I could sit here, oh, yo, I'm, yo, it's so ill, the things I don't learn. I could bash on the white man, black man, Chinese man all day. Or I could uplift you. But if I'm going to uplift you, I'd rather uplift you from the standpoint of the spirit soul. Because if I feed your material body, I'm just prolonging your material existence. Please take these words to heart. Chant Hare Krishna. Haribo.